Welcome to another amazing five minute auto pairing. Okay, let's see what happens here. So five minute auto pairing. <clears throat> Head off on nineteen seventy one. Let's try uh, the Alkine defense. Let's try uh oh, let's take care. Would he play C four in exchange off Queens? I mean maybe. I think I wanna play Bishop G four or something and then E six. Thinking. So we get to play e6. It looks as though it might be solid soon. Knight d7, queen c7. Is he going to make it dull with c4 in exchange of queens? Seven queen c seven. I could even consider casting queen side. Queen c seven castle queen side. What is he going to do about this? If bishop moves, maybe bishop. Is bishop c5 an idea? Actually, bishop f1, isn't that knight e5 anyway? Okay, he's using it as a positional pawn sack. Or is that takes, takes, takes? I've got, okay, queen a1. So I could, it seems as though I could take this pawn. I'll, I'm going to dare it. Is this naughty? Am I going to get my queen trapped? Thankfully, there isn't queen d5. This is supporting the d5 knight at the moment. Alright, so if I just take on e2 and hope for the best. Right, so queen h5, trying to keep a pin. Uh, oh no, hell, rookie six backfires, wins the queen. Oh man, <laughs> queen queen f five, queen f five might be a lot better. Queen f five. So have I nabbed the pawn for nothing? Not much, or not? What's the situation? I need to try and get castled here. Bishop e seven, try and castle. Any knight move, there's knight, does seem to be knight c3 on a knight move. Bishop b2, yeah, that's possible. Alright, if I just put the knight on f6. Oh, hang on, I had queen takes b1 there. Oh man, <laughs> weakness of the last move. Classic, I got queen b1. I want another pawn. Okay, let's just try and get castled. Okay, I'll try and get castled. Hopefully, hopefully, one pawn is enough. Come under five, but he has given the c5 square a bit with that, so it's not all fantastic. Hmm. Queen d3 here looks at the knight. 
it's only good. What do you do to queen d3? I think queen d3 is interesting. Then what? Okay, so if I just protect c6. C five is C five terrible. Um, blocks in the bishop. He's going to play rook d two anyway. I could play C five. Right. Trying to be a bit annoying with this d file. Actually, queen d1 is now threatens, actually, isn't it? If rook d2 is queen c3 on the cards, no, takes, he's on d1. No, takes, yes, rook, this one. Okay, he's done that one. So on the bishop at the moment, but his queen's a pain, actually, here. Yeah. I suppose my queen is as well. Uh, let's go here then. There's a big clock advantage of 1 minute 40. Um, if I just play a6 here, is that so terrible? I'm going to lose the dark squad bishop. Well, there's knight e4 here. That looks tempting. Just hitting the rook and the bishop. And his queen's protecting the rook, so my queen's attacking that after. Isn't he just falling apart? There's a lot of pressure here. Well, okay. Uh, knight takes f2. I'm on the rook. As knight takes f2. Knight takes. Not so hot. Also, rook d8 here with that pin. That looks very attractive as well. f3 to knight d6. I think rook d8 looks pretty strong. With this pin. If I just do this. Well, there's queen c6. But then this is going to be loose. Mind you. Let's rook c8 first. Yeah, rook c8, so this is not as loose. Then knight takes them on the rook here. If I play knight takes them on the rook here. If queen c6, rook c8. Queen moves. Knight takes. Rook takes, queen takes. That's the plan. Mm. Okay, that, that sorts things out for a moment. Just keep the queen on this um, rook over here. Uh, is knight c3 clever? It's got rook takes protecting d1. But there's queen b1 check there. If rook c3 does rook d1. So knight c3, bishop c3 does rook d1. Rook c3 does queen b1. Rook here there's rook d1. Is knight c3 actually working? Is it a terrible blunder? This one doesn't work. This one doesn't seem to work. Because of queen b1. Because he's protecting. Bishop takes. Check. I'll try this. So it seems to have awkward pieces here for the back row. So rook d1 is actually supported now by the, by the knight. So here rook d1 is queen here, but this check. check. Yeah. Okay, let's let's check that briefly. Um, this game. So um, it was a bit better here. No, actually black's better now after knight takes. So the engine does dare to take. For this rook here, uh, I think yeah, that apparently is a good move. If takes just losing the exchange isn't offering apparently anything too special on a brief analysis here. Now this yeah, I could have considered queen takes b1. That's what I thought. The engine's giving my move. So what's the matter with this? The king's still in the center. 
So C takes this check. Check. Yeah, I thought about that after actually when I said it, that getting another pawn here might actually be terrible. Uh, look at that, it is terrible. This is too greedy. Um, I'm faced with threats here. Rookie one, my 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 queen's going. My my king's. Oh, rook c7. What is this? Wow, can that could actually win the queen if it takes then? Check. Check. So that shows how that could backfire. So maybe what I did was okay. My my concern was to castle. This is okay. Still okay for black. That's okay still. A6 okay. Now queen e5 apparently is a good move. I suppose it threatens this and it threatens like taking here. So if g3, I suppose I just take here. Yeah. So queen e5 strong. I took here. Knight e4. Is that a strong move? It gives a strong move. Rook d8. Oh, rook takes. D oh, that's very simple. Just simply on the back row. The queen's not on the back row yet. Dear oh dear. Oh my word, it gets worse. There was a mate in one hair. Ah, uh, morning coffee needed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Unbelievable. It's actually a mate in one hair. I don't need 93. Apparently, this is still good for black hitting the queen. <laughs> the tomato one is just slightly better. Oh, check. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.